and welcome to Harrison's Auctions. This is Bruce's walkabout, show you around the place, a little bit of information this week. Uh, the sale this week, general sale, on the 29th of February. So put that in your diaries, this is a good sale this week. Anyway, I'd like to start with this and a bit of information. Now, this piece is Cafe de Monte. Now, most people go, oh, Cafe de Monte rubbish. This is Cafe de Monte best quality. You can see all the little fruit series, little fingers, which are all made. This is the pipe player, right? Now, uh, the mark on the bottom, we just got Italy there, and there's a stamp there. But the minute I saw this, I knew that it was Capo de Monte. Absolutely knew it, you can feel it. But Capo de Monte comes in three or four qualities. You get the absolute rubbish, which is just slung together. And then you slowly work up to different qualities. Now this is best quality. This is an expensive uh, figurine and piece of porcelain. It's made with a slightly different porcelain as well. Better quality. So that's that. All right, so you got a bit of information. And here we go, we've got our usual, there's bits of Victorian China there. Oh, look, there we are. Pearly King from London. There we go, Pearly King. He's part of that lot there. Just small items for, um, you know, to have a look at. Now, there's lots of oddments in here this week. Odd stuff, like to get the odd and unusual. Now, this came in this week. Now, it's um, detector, you know, guy out with a, you know, his old detector. And he's found all this. Now, there's little bullets in there. Um, that's a, you know, it's two or three sort of shells been fired, but mainly you got these. That's a rifle ball musket. And these ones are from a pistol, right? Smaller, obviously. But there's all sorts of bits in here. Bits of bronze that looks like Roman uh, buckles, all sorts. But that's detector finds, and it's all in one lot. Now then. This, I absolutely love. What a beautiful piece of glass. Now, it's not for putting your flowers in, as I keep telling you. This is just for looking at, and it is a beautiful piece of glass. Belgian, uh, but it's absolutely lovely. Probably Edwardian. And there we are. I see we've still got your sticker on it. It's probably Edwardian, but um, yeah. now then, here we are. This is silver, uh, Birmingham. Uh, I think it was about 1956. Uh, Got the cone there as well. But a nice set, old fashioned set, for um, a chap. And uh, as I say, solid silver. And these brushes are heavy. So there is a lot of silver in there as well. So that's a nice one for you to come and get. This one, cake slice. Also again, could do with a little polish. But also again, this is a nice piece, but a silver plate. But that's a nice gift for somebody. And this other piece, wanted to show you it's this again is Capita Monte right but it looks reasonably plain except when you have a look at these flowers how intricately they are made it's beautiful beautifully made mark on the bottom there we go I'll turn it up the right way N Capita Monte and there we have the artist who made it very, very famous artist, sculptor. So, there we go. 
we move on. We got some other bits, bits of um, bits of uh, oh, Bezic, Black Beauty, and uh, pieces of glass. Can't remember who made it. Right now then, we have the quirky and the unusual and the completely ridiculous. Now we've got this clock. See, it's all working. Ticks at the bottom. There we go. Real modern type clock, but crazy piece. Lovely for the modern home. Now then, uh, moving on. Here we are. Usual thing. Silver tipped walking stick. Uh, may have a date on it. It has 1921 and it was belonged to W. Wilmot on his retirement. So, a lovely stick there. Suit me that one, wouldn't it, when I'm crunking about. But there you go. All sorts, bits and pieces. The Hobbit there. We've got loads of glass in. This is all Royal Dalton, all in the one lot. There. Um, nice china, cottage ware. Now then, gas masks. We've got a number of them in. This gas mask is in really, really good condition. Now, normally what happens is all this rubber rots away because this is from the Second World War, right? This one. Now, that's the box that you often see in the old films about the war, people walking about with these wooden uh, cardboard boxes around them. But that's the gas mask that comes out of it. Now we've got several to talk about today. That is good for mustard gas. Tin app if you need it. When they're dropping bombs, it's handy to have one of them. Now then, here's another one. Now this is more of a, a hazard um, uh, gas mask, right? This is also from the Second World War, right? Um, but this is, as you can see, the numbers are all on it, the dates inside it. But they used to call this the farter because when you breathe in and out, that flap makes a rude noise. So, but that one's a double lens. There we are, more sort of stuff. Now, for the children. This is a bit more recent. This is during the Cold War and they were issuing these out around. Right, this one, First World War. There we are. Now, double liner, eyelets, and you have the separate uh, container which has got um, filters in. And it's also got charcoal in it, which filters out the gas. There we go. That's a nice one. Look at that. They are. American football hat. Not proper football. Why would you wear a hat when you're playing football? You shouldn't be. More of a modern uh, gas mask. Now, this is for chemical attack. Now, if you notice, there's a little piece inside there. All right which you can turn from the outside you see that turns around now that's if you want to drink while you're in the helmet because that turns around and that will give you a you can get a drink somehow through that oh there it is there i knew it was about here somewhere this goes into a container of water right and you can suck up a drink we've got here for if you've got a pub and you're going to do the walls up with farming stuff these are two beet knives for chopping uh, sugar beet or beets up for feeding cattle and a really old scythe there so that's a nice little uh, piece and uh, right let's see a load of cameras someone's bought with a whole plethora of cameras Now then, there's all sorts here. This one I quite like. This is nice. There we go. Beautiful camera, right? Pull out front. This will uh, 
that's an N sign, sleek. So that would fold into there. Just needs a little bit of a more of a clip. That would so the film goes in, pull her out, and then you'd have to look through this little square. So that's a nice one. Uh, and there's a couple of more modern ones, but there's some good cameras there. Now then, another lot that we've got in this week, right up that corner. Now, I wonder if I can turn a light on to give it a bit more light. Um, this lot, all these fishing reels, mainly sea fishing. All these reels here, right, fishing reels. And this stuff is all uh, waders and, um, you know, winter fishing uh, clothes, right? And these are all the covers, cases for all these fishing reels. So there's a whole lot there, right? Um, and there's an awful lot of good reels in there. Okay, moving on. Right. We have the modern here as well. Now this is one of these robotic vacuum cleaners. So you just turn it on and apparently it creeps all around the house, clearing up all the floors. So, uh, never had one myself. Don't know how they work. I know it's got a bar on the front there. If it bashes, it turns around in a circle. But that's... So if you want to get rid of the wife and still have clean floors, get one of these. Right, now then, this one, unfortunately, is for gas mask, this is, for a baby. World War Two. right? Now, the baby lays put cloth in there and then the baby lays inside this bag so you can see its face there and then you do these tie strings up really crunch it and then what mum has to do once she's got her gas mask on is stand there sit there and pump this now that pumps the air into the baby right flaps over and it all flaps over so baby's sealed up tight in there and you keep pumping this right until the air raids over or whatever it could be hours just in case old Hitler drops some bombs on you of gas which apparently they did right okay now then that's a sad thought that one there we are singer there we are, beautiful singer machine, right? Um, lovely, it does all your bits and pieces of zigzag and other bits and in and outs and all that. Um, loads of glass in this time, it's in all this glass that's about everywhere. Now that's a really lovely decanter. Glasses go with it, of course, but it's the main thing is the decanter. Beautiful piece. There we are. Not used very much these days, but there we are. See, bubble work on there. Lovely uh, stopper in it. There we are. Beautiful piece. So we have really good stuff in. So this is the electric uh, G Max 40 volt lithium green works. It's it's. Electric, I don't, it's got all sorts of blades and singing and dancing and I think it plays your radio and films everything around. But it's all singing and dancing, it's all there. Grass box a lot. Ah, now then, interesting. This is a, a book binders. Guillotine. So what he does, he's got his book and he wants to cut the nice front edges. So <coughs> what he'll do, he'll put that up there, put his book in, 
hold that down so it holds the edge of the book really tight and then chop. Now it's all done by machine now but this is one of the original book binders things. It's probably early Victorian. You can tell by the blade. You can see how that works. You wouldn't want to get your fingers in there. Now then, this beautiful colour, as you can see, beautiful colour. But this is a uranium Vaseline glass. Now, if you put a Geiger counter on this, it would go berserk. Because they use uranium, which as you know is radioactive, to get that colour. And you can tell it's a beautiful colour, right? But don't worry about it, the uh, radioactive bit is inside. Now then, uh, carrying on, this is a piece of uh, G-Plan, right? 60s, teak, very nice, uh, lovely, would look lovely in any modern home. G-Plan always does. Now we've got, this week, we've got a lot of G-Plan and a lot of Nathan, which, as you know, Nathan was bought out by G-Plan, so it's all one company now. I just want to tell you a story. I was around a bloke's house doing a clearance, and he didn't want to us to take the rubbish away. He wanted to do it himself. That's fine. No problem. But he got hold of this, and he was going to throw it in the fire. Now, this is a Bible from... There we go, 1891, right? Script inside, but it's an ordinary family Bible. But he was going to go in front on the fire. So I grabbed it and said you couldn't. Oh, more Stuart Crystal. More Stuart Crystal. There. Now, uh, we've also got a lot of John Webb crystal in this week. Lovely, beautiful pot there. But this is Delft. There we are, Maker's Mark. Hand-painted, but this is Delft. So that's all hand-painted. This piece on here, retro 1960s Nathan. Uh, as you can see, oak top. Teak, all right, beautiful table, 1960s, go in any home as a coffee table, and you've got a lovely piece of retro. We've got some more Nathan furniture in, um, over the other side here. I want to do this. This is Nathan, Nathan again, table on top is... Um, G plan and more Nathan and, and G plan as we go through so and it's all 1960s 1970s all came out of the same house right, oh look at that lovely stall now that's G plan up there look you see beautiful piece dressing table absolute style never go out of fashion Beautiful piece. Oh, one more piece up there. Look, see that radio? Now that's a 1930s, 20s or 30s radio there. That's a really early valve radio. Yeah, I'd show you that piece because it's really, really good. Well, there we go. Harrison's Auctions. Now, this uh, auction will be on Saturday the 29th of February. And the catalogue will be open on Thursday at half past four. Viewing all day Friday from eight till five. And as I say, the auction on the 29th of February Starts at 10 o'clock, but we're open at 8 for a little bit more viewing. Now then, if you are an internet subscriber and you wish to uh, have a look at the catalogue or bid through the internet, 
then you need to go to easylifeauctions.com forward slash Harrison's. And I hope you really enjoy this week. It's blinding, absolutely blinding. We've got loads of stuff. 